This video is made for mature audiences. Parental discretion is strongly advised. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, our Star Phoenix, and welcome to another promo. Today we're bringing another indie game title, uh, a little shooter-style game called Pulsar. Um, this particular game is a compact uh, retro-style game. Uh, basically, you are a spaceship flying around a black hole in a circle like this, and um, your job is just to score as many points as you can. Now the game does come with a couple of add-ons and additions, upgrades, and some very interesting graphics as you can see on screen. Ooh. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, if anybody has ever played the arcade title Gyrus, and this is going way back into the 80s, so <laughs> I'm not surprised that some of you may never heard of it. But uh, Gyrus was a wireframe game that you basically controlled this little ship and it did the same thing. The only difference is Pulsar comes at you from pretty much every direction in the book instead of just like from the center of the map and then the things don't necessarily fly back into the center like it did in Gyrus. And like I said, there's some power-ups and things here. I'm going to run this for about a half an hour. <laughs> I like this part too. The developer, like if you stay here long enough, the developer's like, you want to play the game, you want to play the game. I like that. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, the game is keyboard, mouse, uh, mainly keyboard. Um, it's uh, got a good ergonomic. It has an auto fire, so you really don't have to worry about like pressing your spacebar constantly, stuff like that. And like, it has some upgrades and stuff. So let's go ahead. The game wants me to hit play, so let's hit play. <laughs> I love that. Okay. So when you first play the game. Um, at the bottom, at the bottom uh, right hand side of the screen, you see a thing that says coins. Uh, during the course of the game, you buy coins. Yeah, you pick up coins, and the coins you can use to buy stuff. So, um, and then of course the controls are right here. Shooting is the space bar, W, A, S, D. Now, um, A and D spin you left and right. W and S move you towards the black hole and away from the black hole. You see that black hole in the center? It's actually what you're spinning around. Um, There's yeah, so simple options. You can control your speed and stuff. You can turn auto shoot on if you want. Uh, you can wipe out all your progresses and start the game completely over if you want to. Um, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> the shop, uh, you can purchase um, sh different ships. Uh, this is your starter. It can take two hits, two HP. It has an attack speed of one, so it shoots kind of slow. And then you can purchase more powerful ships. So this one, Attack speed of 2. This one has HP of 3. Attack speed of 3. You kind of get it. You know, get, they get increasingly stronger until you can get to this one as a 5-5. Five, five. Um, let me make sure I'm on the right one. Okay. I'm going to start with the basic ship just so you guys can kind of see the progress. And of course the stats. Like, when you play the game, like how long you survive. Um, what your high, high score was. Uh, and, uh, skins, you can change the color of your ship if you want. You just basically, you know, pick a block. So we're gonna, I'm gonna make it green today. Um, and then upgrades, you can buy bigger shots, which I've, have I done this already? Yeah, I've done this already. And then you can buy different game modes with the points that you get. And then you can purchase, um, nuclear bombs, invincibility, and like a shield, which I haven't done. And then you can buy multiple shots and like other things here. So you can buy these things to help the game and make it easier or harder depending on you know, what you want to do. I haven't tried any of this other stuff. I'm just going to play the basic game. I may buy one of the other ones and give it a shot here since I've never done it. Give you guys a taste of what you can get in the game. Um, but anyway, let's get into the game, shall we? And because it's, um, because it's on auto, I don't have to worry. Now you do shoot from the back as well. And you can shoot... Pretty much everything here. <laughs> the uh, those oh, I just got hit. So those things are the coins there that you can use to buy power ups. Oh jeez, my movement sucks. As you can see, the movement's kind of like you move very very quickly. Uh, those glowing colored bars are barriers. You can't shoot them, and you just sort of have to dodge them. And like I said, you can kind of move in towards the black hole if you want, or far away. I tend to play back a little bit just because it's easier for me. Oh, <laughs> and, I, and I just spun right into the asteroid there. Derp! Alright, let's play again. 
So yeah, this one, you see, the, the this is the attack speed of one, so, you know, she's relatively slow. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I'm rough. Okay, let's try this again. I have to keep remember. I have to keep reminding myself which direction is which. When it gets spun around, this is a problem I used to have when I played Gyrus too. When it gets spun around, I forgot which way the dial turned, and I would like accidentally fly into stuff. Ow! I just hit that barrier. And you do get health bubbles, but you have to kill enough of the other stuff to you know get the health bubbles as far. So. And the health bubbles show up in these bright green things. Like the coins show up as the. Uh, the coins show up as the, the kind of gold things, and the, the health is green. See, like, that's health right there. So, yeah, you can collect it even when you have max health, and you'll get over health. So, I have three hit, hit points now instead of two. You have to remember, too, you do shoot from the back of your ship, too, so you can kind of, like... Hit stuff that goes off the edge of the screen. Great. I just like whack myself again. And eventually the uh, those bubbles get bigger and you fight more, you, sh you shoot more powerful bubbles eventually. There you go more health. See, there we go. There's a there's a big one that takes two shots because, you know. Oh. Else. And I like how there's a little vapor trail coming out of the back of your ship <laughs> to, like, mimic the, the fact that you're flying in space and kind of, like, going towards this central thing even though you never really hit it. And you can tell, as you can see, the game gets a little crowded eventually, like stuff starts flying everywhere. Part of the fun is, uh, how long can you survive? Oh my god. Ah! Uh oh. Can I squeeze in here? Okay. Oh, there goes a bunch of barriers. Um, um. Oh, there's a big red one, too. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna upgrade my I'm gonna upgrade my ship because I do have the next upgrade. So we're gonna use the the second ship. This one I can't remember how much this one costs because it says owned already. But... but yeah, basically now I've got the same hit points, but I've got better shooting. Speed. You see the bullets are shooting a little bit faster. So that means I can kill these things a little bit faster. Do the same amount of damage no matter what, it's just that the ships eventually get more and more powerful in the terms of their shooting speed and how many hits they can take before you um, need health again. And so, the background does move too, so like the background does shake around a little bit. Oh great, I just took a whack. Like I said, those barriers are completely invulnerable. Like I said, guys, this isn't a big, complicated game. There's nothing fancy to it. There's no big story. There's not a lot of, you know, there's not a lot of, like, you have to play this for hours and hours and hours and hours, you know, to grind anything. It's just basically a, you know, little, it's just a little fun game. Oh! It's, it's a game just to, you know, to have to chill with and the, uh, oh boy. It does get a little hectic, though. Yeah, somewhere I took another hit. Now I'm down to one HP already. Oh. One of the things I'm not really good at is like changing my like vertical position, so like getting closer and further away. I tend to forget how to I tend to forget I can do that and then sometimes I end up just like crashing into something. But yeah, as I, as I play, you know, through here, I'm going to upgrade the ship. And then, like I said, maybe I'll try one of the, the modes I haven't unlocked yet, just to give you guys a chance to experience that with me. After all, it's part of the, doing what the promo is, you know, showing you guys something about the game. Maybe it's, maybe interest you in it. 
when I saw this game, I was like, you know, this actually kind of reminds me of an old Atari game because it has that look to it. It has a very, like, you know, Atari, Nintendo, Sega Master System look to it. It's like very, like, low-tech game, but a lot of these games, you know, the uh, developers, when they make these, they, they make them pretty low-tech on purpose. You know, they want to... Oh, crud. They want people to uh, be able to experience the game and not always, you know, have any have a big complicated game. Like a big complicated game to me is like, you know, you know, like Valorant or you know, Escape from Targo or something like that. Some, or you know, even like you know, Final Fantasy is a bit more complicated. You know, something that has a big progression to it. Like sometimes, you know, you don't want to play a game that just has a lot of progression, grinding, or other stuff. And, you just want to chill out. Oh, wow, I collected 100 points. Cool. Oh boy, it's getting a little intense in here. Oh no, there's a health! Ah, ha, ha. I lost it. Oh, there's a big, there's a big spicy boy there. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Oh boy! Ah! <laughs> All right. I'm gonna upgrade the ship again since I've got the upgrade. So we're gonna go. Oh, I forgot to select the, the second one. I was on the base one. Uh, forgot to select. Now we're now we're on the next one. There we go. I was never on the second ship. <laughs> I keep forgetting you have to hit select. I guess I just shoots a little bit faster. Ow. Yeah. Give me. Give me health regen. Uh, I want that, please. Can I? Ah! Almost didn't get it. Give me my money. Oh, more help. Well, I'll take it. I mean, sometimes it's best just to kind of wiggle around, too, just to see if you can get something as it comes out of the black hole. Ow! Oh, come on, Stark. Jeez. Gimme, give gimme! Give <laughs> gimme my help! Oh! Giant, giant disco laser! Uh oh. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> disco, disco! Oop! Oop! <laughs> Alright, let's upgrade the ship again. Get my 3 HP ship now.
That wasn't gonna work. There we go, I'm starting to get into a rhythm. It took me a few tries, but I'm getting into a rhythm now. my money. Whoa, back up. Ah! I didn't mean it. Ow! <laughs> oh no. No you don't. Ah! All those wicked games you play. Oh boy, here it goes. Stay away from that. Stay away from me with that, sir. Ah! 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 <laughs> Ow! Ah! Nope, 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 nope. Can I have some health, please? Can I have some health, please, game? Uh, this is not very fair. Oh, jeez. Here comes the disco laser. Health! Give me my money. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> oh boy. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and upgrade the ship again. Oh, hit the wrong thing. Let's upgrade the ship again. I have this one too. So this is the 3 3 ship.
here, give me that! I want! I want! This is my section of space, sir. Uh, please? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, tight. So tight. Ah! 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 <laughs> Alright, let's, uh. Let's upgrade to the next ship. So this one's four. It only costs 20. Let's do it. Ship five, and you get achievements when you unlock the ships too, so. Get the big beefy ship now. You have lots of HP. <laughs> Ow! It jumped up and bit me in the butt talks. Yeah, this has a... you need to kind of be aware of the whole map. It's, it's a little... it's a little like a... ow. You know, like... You know, like some of the other more robust games I have where you do have to have like a certain degree of map awareness. I'm just walking this stuff now. You have to have a certain degree of map awareness so you know where everything's at. You don't crash into like the barriers and stuff and other things, so... Let me see. I'm buying a nuke. Can I buy one? Oh, okay. I just bought three of them. Oops. Alright, so nuke is Z. Let's see what happens when I use one. Alright, I just spent three dollars on nukes. <laughs> Wow, imagine, imagine that. Oh, 
cool. It wipes out everything, including the barriers. Oh, so there's a way to destroy them. Oh, he's... It almost pays not to be, like, all the way in the back. Like, kind of hover in the middle, because then you can hit everything. The middle ground seems to be the most appropriate choice. Anakin, I have the middle ground! Oh, I want that help. Disco lasers. I call them disco lasers. I don't even know if there's a name for them in the game. Oh, that's the last nuke. I'm shooting about as much stuff from behind as I am from the front now. shoot sideways now. Oh. oh, that's sweet. Having trouble shooting something in front of you and behind you? Now you can shoot on the side. Sweetness! That's actually really cool. Assuming you can actually hit the side shot. Well, it adds a whole new level of dynamic to the ability to shoot things, so... You may unintentionally shoot something just because, you know, you're at the right angle.
Oh, the health, the health. Yes, please. The health. Give me the health boost. Oh, yeah, this is definitely working for me. Ow. Try shield. Shield move. Shield is C, so. Oh, right off the bat, it's giving you money. Oh, cool. Look at that. Look at that pretty shield. I don't know how many hits it takes. Oh, it... Oh. Dirt. Oh, it doesn't... Oh, ow. Oh, so it just takes one hit. Okay. But still, that's... Well, that's like a... a oh, still, one, one more hit point. Still one more hit point. Sometimes all you need is that one hit point. Great, I'm, I'm on my last. I'm on my last legs. Ah! <laughs> well, let's see, guys. Let me uh, go ahead and. Let's open up uh, Double Trouble. Let's see what Double Trouble is. Okay. For some reason I thought I was on the other side. How do you play Double Trouble? Turn it on.
Oh, time's almost up for me to, like... So yeah, I mean, <laughs> it gets pretty intense though, huh? Like I said, this is a game you can play in short bursts. Uh, I kind of like I kind of like how they put this together. You know, it's simple, straightforward uh, controls. Definitely ramps up. I can't tell what the difference between is in this double trouble unless it just things just come out faster. Maybe it's the only thing I can think of is things are coming out a little bit faster. But I can't really tell the difference. Come on, man. Throw me some health, bro. Finally, some help. <laughs> Ow. And of course, I just go and just give it right back. Oh, yeah, also, um, oh my god, I want that health back in. I'm surviving, though, I, I'll tell you that. Well, I'm clutching onto that one HP like it's, like it's the only thing I have left in the universe, <laughs> which it really is. In this particular universe, I really do only have one HP. Come on. Ah, I gotta aim like a stormtrooper, man. Ugh. Oh, I want that, and I can't get it. Ah! <laughs> All right, guys. Um. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, exit that game.
Let's see, I'll do one more thing before we call it. HP spawn plus. Hmm. Let's spin to win. I didn't buy double trouble. What? Oh, you have to set it. Oh. Oh! I didn't set it. Okay, let's try this. Oh my god. Alright, how do you... Okay, how do you even play this? Okay, how how the, how do you even play this, bro? Is there a way to like jump on the other one here? Oh my god, what in the? Uh, okay, is there is there a way for me to actually like go to the other one? Is there a way for me to go to the other black hole? Or am I just like stuck on this one? Switch between black holes and shift, okay. Oh! Isn't that isn't that awesome? Oh jeez! Oh wow! That's awesome! All right. This game just got points for badassery for me. All right. Oh, this is th this is fun right here. Okay. I. Okay, you know what? This developer did an awesome did an awesome thing with this. Okay, I, I like Double Trouble. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I like this mode. This is funny. So when one side gets a little too hectic, you can jump to the other side and go have some fun. Ah! Ah! Nope! <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is freaking amazing! Wow! Okay. I thought I I thought I had turned the mode on. Apparently I just bought it, so I had to turn it on. Wow, this is actually really cool. This is really cool, man. <laughs> I like this! Alright, that, that's pretty cool. You know, now I'm curious. Spin to win. I wonder what spin to win is. Spin around to get points? Oh, okay, you get... Okay, it's not like the other ones where you get points for uh, just playing. You actually have to spin around. Oh, okay. You actually have to do a 360 to get to get points. Oh my god, are you kidding? You get one point for every time you spin around and killing doesn't count. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is like this is like a good extreme challenge mode right here. It's like, can you 360 and get a point? Like how many points can you get? Are you good enough to spin to win? <laughs> spin to win! <laughs> Alright, that's actually pretty funny. Oh boy. Uh, Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> spin to win! <laughs> and it counts, as, it counts no matter which direction you go in as long as you get a 360 in. So you have to do like one entire, you have to orbit the black hole once, and the kills don't count. Okay. Oh man. Whee! <laughs> oh man, this is, okay, this is like, 
This is like acrobat mode right here. You're basically shooting stuff to get power-ups to clear your space so you can do a, you can do a spin. Oh boy. Oh, I'm not spinning the wind there. I'm just gonna have to deal with this for a few seconds. Alright. Whee! <laughs> oh my god. So this is the ultimate test of your playing skills in this game. Like, if you can build up a good score playing this mode, you're good. Okay, I like that. I like that idea. Whee! <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, so yeah. That was a pretty cool one. And the next ship costs 25, so. Okay, guys, so that went a little bit more than a half hour, but I had to play that. So, yeah. Um, if you guys want to pick up Pulsor, it's on Steam. It's 99 cents. I mean, <laughs> those modes are really fun. I like what he did. I, I like that Double Trouble one best, but. Yeah, you can see, like, you get a bunch of ships, and you have an excuse to keep spending money because uh, you can keep buying shields invincibilities and nukes forever the modes and everything once you buy these they're done but the same thing with the ships once you buy all the ships they're pretty much done but the money in the game lets you buy the the consumables so that's a nice thing so there's a reason to keep grinding coins to try to get your high score but yeah like i said guys 99 cents of steam you know for for a simple like like i said low tech game that was actually surprisingly fun um the basic mode you know, it's pretty straightforward. That double trouble mode I really like. That was pretty fun. And the uh, spin the wind mode, that's like like a challenge. It's like I'm the best. Who needs points? I can spin around this map endlessly and make points. So um I wasn't expecting I was gonna like that one. And I like the power ups. Uh I'm gonna have to I don't know what the 100 coin one is because I'll have to grind for a while to get 100 coins because, you know, you only get like maybe 5 or 10 of them uh, at a time. Yeah, guys, if you want to pick it up, go pick it up. Like you said, there, there really isn't anything bad I have to say about the game. I mean, uh... I, I'm, I usually try to find something to, you know, make a constructive criticism for the game. Uh... I don't know, I got nothing. <laughs> I'm actually digging. I guess maybe the only thing I could really knock is the shop. Like, there's... Like, the skins... Skins are basic. I mean, it'd be nice maybe if there was a pay option here. To, like, pay to make your own custom color, but it just might be a limitation of the Unity engine that he had. Or maybe he didn't have time to make something like that. Um... At least, you know, at least they gave you a reason to keep spending money in the game. It's not like a couple other games when I played where you buy everything and there's no reason to keep grinding, you know, for the currency in the game. It just becomes a counter at that point. At least he made it so, you know, it's not just a counter. Um, I don't know. Maybe like one obscenely expensive ship, like maybe one that costs like 999 coins that has like... Maybe more stats. Maybe something to grind for. I like the progressions. But yeah, maybe like, like one super expensive ship. You know, something to grind for. Um, I, guess, I guess the only knock I might have is the WASDs. Like, it's not like 100% intuitive when you're like, you know, moving in and out. Like, but I think that's just more of me trying to find something to say to be constructive, but I really don't have any bad to say about this. Yeah, guys, so. 
Uh, anyway, for everybody who's watching on uh, Facebook and YouTube, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, of course, all the information is always going to be in the description box down below. You guys can go check out the links there. Uh, I'll have the uh, Twitter dev and whatever other websites they have available if they have any. And yeah, everybody on Twitch, hang out, and we're going to go do other things. Until the next promo, guys, you take care of yourselves, and have a good day.